the business reports. We have actually uh, the business reports, and it's very important topic. Uh, we have to talk about it uh, because it touch all the business organizations because everyone must write a report whenever there is a problem regarding the work. So proposals and formal reports, we have types of proposals. First of all, we have formal and informal proposals. So what is the difference between the formal and the informal proposal? Informal proposals are short, often formatted as memos or letters. So this is the informal. But the formal proposals are more complex reporting ranging from five to 200 pages. So we have informal, which is including, looks like the formatted in the, uh, formatted like the memo or the memorandum. And the formal ones, and those are regarding a problem to solve a situation or whatever from five to 200 pages. Types of proposals, internal or external. So we have internal proposal and we have also external proposal. Internal proposal may resemble justification or recommendation reports. This is the internal proposal. Resemble justification or recommending, just recommending about recommending. But the external reports, but the external reports, this one, are addressed to clients, customers, or stakeholders. So types of proposals we have internal and external, formal and informal. Again, we will say the form, the informal reports, very short. But the formal, it might reach to 200 pages. The formal might reach to 200 pages, but the informal are very short. This is the first thing. Second, internal and external. The internal, like recommendation, reports, or justification, this is internal. External, that's directed to the stakeholders or to the customers or to the clients. So we have internal reports and we have also external reports. We have also solicited or unsolicited. Solicited proposals are often in the form of requests of for proposal. So solicited, like the form of request for proposal. Unsolicited proposals are often sent by companies looking for work. We'll come now to the components of uh, the informal proposals, but before we move into this part, let us say some questions here. What are the types of proposals? So you will say formals and informals, uh, solicited and, and unsolicited, solicited, and you will say also internal and external, like what you saw just now. What are the types of proposals? Here is our first question today. What are the types of proposals? So let's see now again. Proposals like what you saw here. I will give you a chance about five minutes to write down the answer of these question, please. What are the types of proposals? What are the types of proposals? Here is our first question today in the reporting system. What are the types of proposals? Okay. So let's move on to the second question right now and see uh, we'll leave here one minute or two minutes for you guys just to work around.
Okay, my dears, we'll move now to the next part of this uh, lecture, the components of the informal propo proposal. Components will go to the components of the uh, informal proposal. The informal, we said like the memos, uh, those types, state the reason for the proposal and highlights the writer's qualifications, contains hooks, backgrounds. Identify the problem and discuss the goals or the purpose of the project. Plans, discuss your method for solving the problem. So here we go again, the components of informal proposals will state the reasons for the proposal and highlight the writer's qualifications. Backgrounds, it's like the informal proposal, it's like your CV or your resume. Identify the problem and discuss the goals of the purpose of the project. Plan, discuss your method for solving the problem. But it's from a, a perspective, a private uh, opinion. Stuffing, describe the credentials and expertise of the project leaders and companies, the budget for the project, and authorization and the conclusion for that. So now we will go to the steps in the report process. First of all, I will determine the scope and the purpose of the report. Why I'm writing this report? Why I'm writing this report? Why I write it? Second, begin with a purpose statement. Anticipate the needs of uh, the audiences. Present key finding relevant to the audiences. Uh, draft a work plan. Present tentative plan that guide the investigation. Include problem statement, purpose statement, description of research methods and outlines. Conduct research using primary and secondary resources. Secondary research through information that has been previously analyzed and compiled primary research through, through uh, first-hand experiences, observation, interviews. Also, organize, analyze, and draw conclusions. Organize logically, analyze information, conclude by summarizing funding and drawing and so on. Design graphic to clarify the reports. Pay attention to the following elements when you are editing formal business report. The format, review or visual appeal, consistency, review for margins, page numbers, indents, headings, uh, parallelism, and the font uh, style. For editing formal reports, like we are saying still, about the graphics, if you use the graphics, remove, remove, review uh, for meaningfulness. Heading levels also, review the font <coughs> style and placement, so it must be all in one style. Accuracy, review for accuracy and clarity. Mechanics, review for grammar, punctuation, uh, capitalization, and so on. Now we will go for a question. Second question today, what are the control steps? So what are the steps? that we'll use in the report process or that we will do conduct in the report process. What are these steps that we would do in the report, uh, in the report process? What are these steps? We'll see these steps right now. Like I told you again, I will just, Repeat it for you back.
So first you will determine the scope. Begin with the purpose statement. Anticipate the needs of the audiences. Check out what your audience needs. Present key findings relevant audiences. Draft a work plan. Present a tentative plan that guides the investigation about the problem. Include problem statement, the purpose statement, the description of the research. Conduct the research using primary and secondary sources. Secondary research through information that has been previously analyzed. Primary research, because we have two types of research. We have secondary research, and actually the secondary research, you will have information before. It is there, have been analyzed before. But primary research, including no information, you don't have information. So you are trying to gather information through the experience, like the experience here, through the experience, or the observation, like this word, or the interviews, but you don't have a previous information about it. Organize, analyze, and draw the conclusions. Analyze information for relevance. Conclude by summarizing uh, findings, drawing, design graphics to clarify the report. Pay attention to the following elements. The format of, the, of your own report. Consistency means uh, the margins, the pages, all this. The numbers, the edits, the uh, heading, all these things. Also, check for the graphics, the heading levels, the accuracy, uh, the mechanics, like the grammar, the punctuation, and capitalization, the, the lowercase and the uppercase. That was well, this question, and I just want you to work on it. And shall I stay here around five minutes? Then I will go to the next video. So we'll go to the next video right now. We'll go to our next video right now.
and thank you so much. <laughs>